Gary sent me a video yesterday. Whoa, we got a ton of traffic. It's like a motorcycle competition up in here. What's up, y'all? All right, I think that was the last one. Mexico, y'all. Hey, so got a video the other day from Gareth um, about this uh, YouTuber, this YouTuber put out named, named Dan Mace. Uh, Dan is a next level YouTuber who travels around the world making amazing videos and he's currently doing a project where he's finding people who have amazing ideas or are working on phenomenal projects or have put a seed of an idea out there to the world and he's made it his mission to go visit these individuals and champion their cause uh, through a collaborative project where um, they document help bringing this idea uh, into a reality. And it's a, uh, a program he's calling Plant Your Seed. And we want to submit our um, idea to Dan to see if he can come collaborate with us to help us uh, further get down the road to 10,000 Perfect Days Design. So, Gareth, yes, great find, my friend. and. I was sitting here thinking about the different ways we could collaborate with him. In fact, I've, uh, I've written it down on a piece of paper. In fact, here, why don't I show that to you? All right, dude, so I'm here back in the studio, and I put some notes down here on my piece of paper, but the, the gist of it is I want us to use the fact that we're in two different locations as we build that into the pitch. It's almost like a two-part series. So part one, part one, he flies to meet me here in Oaxaca. Um, we do a collaborative whiteboard session here in the studio. We do a level one install where he designs his perfect day. And then once that's behind us, we go to San Jose Pacifico and we go back to where you and I did our original mushroom trip where we went up there, we did a ceremony, we set intentions, um, we prepped before, we fasted, and we experienced that medicine in that safe environment in that amazing space. Dan and I do the same thing. And we use that as an opportunity to tell more of our story. Tell the story where you and I went up on that mountain a year ago. And have those ideas flow. It's such a magical place. And this is one of the best places in the world for that. Let's make that part of it. So he comes here, spends a few days, and we have that experience. Then... We go to wherever you are in the world, someplace epic, of course, and y'all do epic stuff. Y'all live the perfect day that he designed. You know how we've been talking about this idea of a level two install where after someone does their perfect day exercise, they go out and live their perfect day and understand what it feels like to have those emotions and to have those experiences all packed into one day. That's what you guys do when he comes and visits you over there. They, you live a perfect day for you and a perfect day for him, and you'll go out and experience that together and document it. That could be the pitch that we give him for all of this. So anyway, dude, I think it's a great idea. Hey, one more thing. I think I figured out the perfect way for us to get in the front of the line and make sure we get Dan's attention in this whole plant your seed contest. Because you got to figure. You gotta figure he's getting a ton of submissions from all over the world and we need to stand out. And I think I figured out a way that we can definitely stand out. Here's how it's gonna work. So essentially what we're gonna do, let's see if this works here. We're gonna take an envelope, like just a, probably just a standard manila envelope, but one of those big oversized ones that kind of sticks out in your whole bunch of mail. And we're going to put inside of this, the pitch that we have for Dan. Um, I don't know, maybe it's a link to a video, maybe it's a letter. I'm not sure what goes inside, but this is the delivery method. So we address it to an address in Houston that I control. So it's going to go to Joe Schmo in Houston, Texas, and it's going to go to a specific address that I know in Houston. It's going to be from Dan Mace, care of Casey Nalstadt, and it's going to be a, the return address is going to be Casey Studio in New York City. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to put proper postage on this envelope, drop it in the mail, and send it to this address in Houston. 
Now, once it gets there, we're going to receive the package. We're going to cross out the name and we're going to write return to sender across the top of it. And what the U.S. Postal Service is going to do is they're going to return it to this address here in New York City. So when that package arrives as a returned piece of mail, Casey's going to get it because Dan's out traveling the world now. So Casey's going to get it and he's going to look at it. It's going to be like, this is weird. Dan sent something while he was here and used my return address. Hey, what's up, Dan? It's Casey. Hey, I got this package that you sent to Joe Schmo in Houston. It got returned. What do you want me to do with it? And Dan's going to be like, I didn't send the package while you were there. He's like, dude, I'm sitting here looking at the envelope. He's probably going to send a YouTube video for it. I'm looking at this envelope. What do you want me to do? Well, open it. He's going to open it, and he's going to hear our pitch directly from Casey. Anyway, that's all I got. Let me know what you think.